go down to College Station. Jimbo had a little glimmer in his eye on this one. Shane, I hope you guys are, are watching on YouTube. We'll get to these comments in a minute. But when he was asked about old Haynes King getting back to 100%, uh, you know, like I said, there legitimately seems to be a, a, a glimmer in the man's eye. He's he's smiling from ear to ear. Uh, oh, Haynes King getting a lot of reps in practice with the ones, although he's kind of – he kind of downplays that, that narrative. But uh, – I don't know. This may be a little bit tailing on, on who Jimbo's looking at as a starting quarterback. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> you think these coaches pinch themselves before they make it out there on the field, just like, <laughs> am I really here? Because I tell you, every time they come up, I, they're just so damn excited about their program, and that just <laughs> – that makes me better because I've got a lot of money riding on them. So keep going, Jimbo. <laughs> so, yeah, let's kick it over to Jimbo Shays, who even kind of – I don't want to say downplays the hype with Evan Stewart, but I but I think the reporter tried to get him a little bit, and, and he says, yeah. no, nah, I've seen this before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he shares a little bit, of, like I said, Haynes King, Max Johnson, Connor yeah. Wigman, and then, you know, 2020, that magical season – they really did assert themselves. They out physical people. They just they just ran a gauntlet in the SEC. How do we get back to that in College Station? Uh, Jimbo mm -hmm. hits on all that here. Jimbo, uh, Evan Stewart's just been coming on so strong throughout practice. And even though he's been here throughout the spring. No, how do you know you, that? You ain't been out there. I've been a few times. <laughs> have you seen. You got a spy out there? You said, hey, have, 15, have, 15 we got, we got minutes. Somewhere. We got spies somewhere. <laughs> have you ever seen a receiver be able to pick up speed of the college football as quickly as he has in your yes. system <laughs> yes what is it about him that you just really like then <laughs> he's, he's waiting for me to say no I, I screwed you up but i have i mean there's been guys <laughs> that have and started since they were freshmen and things but at the same time it it is very difficult it's very hard and it takes a level you, you, you think okay boy he's really gifted but more importantly how mature is he how well does he learn how well does he adapt how well does he you know adapt to failures because as a young guy you're going to have failure and think and I think from that standpoint he does a really good job and I think it's ever you know you got to make sure that you know you don't as quickly as he's done things and had good success you got to still remember he is a freshman and make sure when we're coaching him and how we coach him and we make sure we're uh, dotting I's crossing T's and making sure we don't uh, get out of that framework of keeping him in that realm but at the same time he's got to go play and, and and he's doing that so I've had guys do it and but he is definitely and I think one I think his maturity his drive his intelligence, his ability to comprehend, and his ability to adapt and adjust as you learn the things on defense. Not just, all right, you learn what you do on offense, but it's how does it fit to inside leverage, outside leverage, bracket coverage, zone coverage, man coverage, how every every how plays can change based off of that. And I think his comprehension of football in general, along with his overall intelligence, allows him to have success early. I love this one. So there was a, uh, a couple there's a couple of national uh, reports that Haynes has taken the lead in the quarterback competition. So and can he's you... getting more reps with the ones someone said. I, I, mean, I did hear somebody says, Haynes got somebody at my – was Haynes? I said, no, they're taking exactly – they rotate days and take exactly the same number. <laughs> Next question. And then uh, – <laughs> No, no, there's, I mean, we're, we made, we're, we're rotating guys with the, and, and they're doing the same thing, so no. Okay. David? Uh, Jimbo, and kind of going back to that quarterback room, um, from a learning standpoint, how do you feel like the process has been for Max and, and Connor both? They um, understand it really well. They both do. And and Connor's picked it up very quickly for a young freshman. I mean, he he carries a, he's a very intelligent guy, very instinctive guy and uh uh very rarely does the same, you know, if he makes a mistake, he doesn't repeat it very often. You know what I'm saying? And then and, and what he's doing. So very encouraging in that way in in development and Max is doing a lot of the same thing. And then for Haynes physically, I mean, has he been able to to take off at all this practice you're allowing him to do that? He's back as far as that part of it, the physical parts of what he can do and though and in no no pain no anything no pain free whether he throws it whether he runs it whether he stands out there you know what i mean you're coming off of surgeries and his strength is back in the, in the everything around the injury so I feel very good about that what's up fourth in 2020 y'all overwhelmed opponents in fourth quarters for the most especially down the stretch of the season we finished Okay. Exactly right. Yeah, last year that didn't happen. So how do you get back to that? To back to basics quarter? and point it out and make it make it adamant. And not just fourth quarter, starting games. Listen, we, we had there was a couple games last year. We got overwhelmed in the beginning. We didn't play offensively and gave up a lot of points defensively. 
and that that has effect too. You don't ever win games in the first five minutes, but you can lose you can lose them and start yourself having a heck of a hard time coming back. You know what I'm saying? Set the temperament. So I mean, starting, finishing, emphasizing, coaching it, and when you see it, point it out. When you stop, pray. Hey, at the end of practice, we're not finishing like we do. Make it adamant. Make it a point, and you grade it. You you calculate it every day. All the things in what you see in practice. Nah, I, I, it had, I don't think it had anything to do with conditioning. It can, but that wasn't our issues. Our issues wasn't conditioning. All right, Coach, thanks. And who the hell's been spying on practice? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, these I know the Aggie fans are going to eat these up, sh- these comments, Shane, but I know as someone that's put money on them Aggies – uh, this has got to make you happy too, huh? It does, man. It does. I'm not a, I'm not a diehard Aggie fan. I don't know all their chants. I don't, I don't even understand why they do some of the things they do. <laughs> but I am excited about this program. I'm excited about the depth. I'm excited. Even my coach coming out here, you know, talking about quarterbacks. It's like he's got a pair of aces. And he, he you ever play poker with somebody that doesn't know how to play poker? That's what it feels like. It's just like, damn, I'm folding. If I'm if Jimbo's, he's over, he's over giddy as a two year old. All right, last little uh, team here, Shay. Let's kick it on down to 